Sonny Jurgensen probably played as well as anybody on Sunday after having a long visit to the local lounge on Saturday night. Sonny Jurgensen got the most out of life and an 18-year career in the NFL. At the height of the Cold War, Jurgensen's right arm was Washington's most dangerous weapon. With 255 career touchdown passes, many still regard Jurgensen as the greatest pure passer of all time. There's been a lot of people who can throw the football, and there's probably some who could probably throw it further. But I haven't seen anyone who could handle a football in the manner that the redhead could. And I've often said he could hit a net at 50 if he wanted to. Throw him the football and put it where you want to put it and when you want to put it, I put him up against anybody. I don't ever remember Sonny throwing behind me or throwing down to where I had to pick the ball up below my knees to catch it. No matter what pattern you were running, if you were going to break free, that ball was always there. He was a magician with that ball. I, he, he could make a ball look like it was going to go at a linebacker and then all of a sudden go right into the hole at the receiver. When you watched him play, you really felt like you were watching an artist as much as you were watching a quarterback. He always threw a perfect spiral. It, it was like a feather coming out of the sky. You never saw anybody drop one of Sonny's passes because it would have been next to impossible. That was true genius at work there. I think there are players in football history that truly were great, but because they never won a championship or were never maybe in the right place at the right time, kind of fall through the cracks. Among quarterbacks, I, I thought the Jurgensen was that guy. It was a beautiful thing on a Sunday afternoon to just go out there and watch this guy throw a football. And there were people that would say, why Sonny Jurgensen in the Hall of Fame? What did he ever win? And what I would say is, did you ever see him play? I mean, did you ever really see him play? He didn't always come out ahead on the scoreboard, but there wasn't one time that I walked out of the stadium that I didn't know that I had watched a great player. And that's the kind of guy that deserves to be remembered. The number three gunslinger of all time, Sonny Jurgensen. Sonny! Sonny Jurgensen. Gunslinger? Oh, yeah. Sonny was a beauty. Sonny Jurgensen's pretty passes from the early 60s to the mid 70s took him all the way to the Hall of Fame. Gunslinger. Sonny Jurgensen was marvelous. Not only was he a quintessential gunslinging quarterback, but he was maybe the best pure passer in the modern game. And now, let's watch the Philadelphia Eagles of 1961. Jurgensen has set a new Eagle record for touchdown passes. Sonny has now set a new NFL record for pass completions and passing yardage in a single season. Sonny was traded to Washington, where Redskins fans got a glimpse at a gunslinger who could riddle defenses with perfect bullets. Great passer of the football. I think of Sonny Jurgensen, and I think of 400-yard football games. It's a touchdown! Redskins touchdown! I've never seen anything like it! That was fantastic! He was accurate. He was so accurate. Accuracy. He could throw the ball accurately. He was such an accurate passer. Impossible to defend. This legendary gunslinger ran an offense masterminded by another quarterback icon. I think our attack, our passing attack is very explosive because we have as good a passer as there is in the league. This is one of the records, and this is the man with the quickest release in football. Christian Adolph Sonny Jurgensen is a quarterback like none other. There has never been a man alive who can throw a football like Sonny Jurgensen. During the 60s, the golden boy with the golden arm was the Redskins' fun-loving Sonny Jurgensen. He didn't look like a real pro football player. He would waddle along with that potbelly, God bless him. 
and then shred defenses apart. Sonny Jurgensen was short and dumpy, and he looked like he should be selling donuts. The old pot-bellied stove himself, Sonny Jurgensen, came on to heat things up and throw a scare into the Bengals. He used to tell people that his belly was his handicap, that they made him be that heavy so that it would make things even. They had his little gut where he'd been drinking beer all the time. You give him a beer and have him throw the football on the other hand is a beautiful thing to watch. I've sat down and talked to people that played with him and people that played with him. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> One of the most entertaining people I've ever been around in my life. I think Sonny was a 24-hour-a-day quarterback. He was always in charge wherever he was. I said, Sonny, I can't tell you the stories I've heard about you. And he said, they're all true. Every one of them. <laughs> you could picture him in the Wild West. Sonny Jurgensen, to me, was the epitome of a gunslinger. To have the title of gunslinger, it means you are one fearless SOB, and there's never been anybody last year quarterback to Sonny Jurgensen. Gunslinger of the highest order. I love Sonny. I loved him. The fun didn't end for him when the game ended. I don't know that the fun has ever ended for Sonny. Thank you.